TMZ, Weinstein apparently had a clause in his contract that allowed for sexual harassment if he shelled out the money to make it go away. More on that. Harvey Levin is executive producer of TMZ.com, the outlet that is behind breaking that news. And he joins us tonight. Hi, Harvey. Boy, wow, Hi, what Martha. a busy week in Hollywood, huh? Yeah, and this is a crazy story. We've been working on this all day and we just posted it. So let me explain it to you. The short story is this. The Weinstein Company allows for sexual harassment under the contract it signed with Harvey Weinstein. Here's what we know. In October of 2015, Harvey Weinstein signed a new contract with them. And under the contract, it says that if Harvey Weinstein gets sued, for sexual harassment, for any other kind of misdeed, and the company has to pay the judgment or a settlement, Harvey Weinstein can make everything good by doing two things. Number one, he has to pay the company back for what it paid the victim. Number two, Harvey has to pay a fine. And the way the fine is structured, for the first time he has to pay a settlement, the first time the company has to pay, Harvey has to pay a $250,000 fine. For the second judgment or settlement, he has to pay a $500,000 fine. For the third, $750,000. For the fourth or any number thereafter, he has to pay a million dollars each time the company has to pay right. uh, a settlement or judgment for any kind well, of a sexual well, let me ask you a question about that. How long did you say that that has been in place, that agreement? <clears throat> For two years. Okay, they so, signed, so but, essentially for the last two years, Weinstein and company has been uh, acknowledging that they absolutely know that this is going on. Well, Martha, when the contract was signed, the member of a member of the board of directors has now said they knew about settlements. He says we assumed assumed that they were consensual uh, sexual relationships that they wanted to keep secret. Mm -hmm. Now. They can fire Harvey Weinstein for fraud, but there's no fraud when they make an assumption without even asking him. So then the issue is, how are they able to fire him? Because they just summarily did it. They didn't send him any kind of a notice as to why. Yeah. And the contract says he has a right to go into mediation and arbitration. So it looks to me, based on what I've seen, that he has a real case against the company for being wrongfully terminated. And that the bigger wow. issue is the company, the bigger issue is the company structured a contract yeah. that essentially allows for sexual harassment if you're willing to pay a monetary price. That, that's fascinating. Uh, we'll see where that goes. You, you know, he said today to the paparazzi, let, let's play this quickly if we can. I've always been loyal to you guys. Awesome. Not like those <laughs> treat you like I've been a good guy. Hmm. Trying to patch things up with the press, Harvey. Well, well, Martha, the irony to all of this is he had just said that he wanted a second chance, but to get a second chance, he's going to need a lot of the stars who have now come out against him, hoping that they'll come back to him. But he pissed them all off because he said those were the you-know-whats who were mean to the paparazzi. So he took a shot at yeah. the celebrities who he wants a second chance from into, as he went into the car. Unreal. Harvey, great stuff. Thank you very much. Good to see you tonight. Okay, Martha.